I look like a raccoon. I have my glasses on so I couldn't tell, but I just got back from the pool. Okay, today I'm gonna talk about um, recycling. And I know this seems, just stay with me. I promise it's gonna be really interesting and relevant to you as a cosplayer. And this is actually more of like a educational video. So um, I've always loved plastic. I think they're super cool. And, and I'm not gonna touch on, the one thing I'm not gonna touch on is Warbla because I honestly don't know what that is and I've never worked with it yet because I'm still experimenting with other cosplay staple techniques. So just the more research I do, the more I realize that there's a lot of stuff that I've been using that I didn't really know. And I like, it's all this knowledge that's sort of connecting aspects of knowledge in my brain and it's just for me it's just really exciting to learn about plastics because it's relevant and it's cool recycling um when you look if you guys want to like pull up go get on google i know you're on the internet right now go pull up a recycling chart of all the numbers it's one to seven so um you have number one which is peat number two which is hdpe which stands for high density uh polyethylene and one is just polyethylene but it has this like terra phthalate terra 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 phthalate um so two is high high density polyethylene v is really exciting because that's number three that stands for that's the v the v is the v in pvc Please tell me you've used PVC. Come on, if you're a cosplayer, you have to have used PVC piping before, and a lot of cosplayers, um, Junkers cosplay, he's a pretty well-known cosplayer. I really love his work, and he's um, really good at what he does. He's really good at what he does because he sort of has a system down now. He really likes working with Sintra. And if you go on his um, website, I think it's a, his blog spot, You'll, he, he does his tutorials and walkthroughs of his builds and he calls it um, PVC sheets, sheeting I believe. Um, and for the longest time I didn't know what that was. People would say, oh I use this, 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 and I'm like, they call it like foam board? That it clicked that he was talking about Sintra. Because I actually went to his um, panel at ALA 2014 and he was like, Sintra, Sintra, Sintra. But it's one and the same thing, which is so cool because uh, my background in armor, I used a lot of styrene. Um, yes, so um, I used a lot of styrene and he was like, so Sintra is better in these ways because it heats more uniformly and blah, blah, blah. It's so interesting. I don't know, I'm such a dork. Uh, number four is um, low density polyethylene, which is, um, um, and it blows my mind because I think, I remember in elementary school, they, I think they tried to educate us on this because I, I, I'm, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure recycling became popular when I was a kid. Um, I mean, we didn't even have plastic bags till the seventies. Did you know that? Fun fact. Yeah. Um, so if you ever time travel and you need to know where you are, that's a good indicator. If they don't have plastic bags, it's earlier than the 70s. And so these last couple years I've been like, I realize things I never knew before. Why did that turn into a musical? <laughs> I'm a little hyper because I just got back from the gym. Help. Send help. Just so you know, here's a, here's a quick catch up. We have polyethylene. When you think plastic, that's what that is. Polyethylene is usually the most common type of plastic used on the market. That's why the majority of these are polyethylene. But then you also have polystyrene and polyvinyl chloride, which is PVC. PVC stands for polyvalent chloride. And um, you have polyurethanes, polypropylene. Propylene, did I get to propylene? I don't know. Anyways, so um, all, they all start with poly and there's not that many of them. So it's pretty easy to, to learn what they are because it's pretty handy when you know what you're working with. Because then you're not constantly asking yourself, can I use this glue? And I don't know anything about this. It's handy to know things. Number five is poly, polypropylene. Polystyrene is number six. So you have PP, polypropylene, PS, polystyrene, self-explanatory. Now you know what they mean when you look on the bottom of the container. And I'll link you with some fun stuff for ways to re recycle your own plastic in and upcycle and use plastics and projects because it's something that people are doing and it's super cool and I'm doing it in my cosplay and it's gonna be 
really cool when I can tell people that this costume looks kick-ass and I made it on like no money. And the thing about loving plastic so much is that it is sort of controversial. It's like bad for the environment if it's not being reused and if it's getting in our ocean. The issue with styrene is that it's one of the biggest plastics that litters landfills, oceans, whatever, because of styrofoam. Paul, when you think of polystyrene, you're thinking of styrofoam. The white packing peanuts, the foam cups, the foam food trays, that lightweight junk that crumbles in your fingers and is completely useless for cosplay. And I believe that the um, condensed um, insulation foam that you get at hardware stores for in the walls of buildings that we all are pretty familiar with as cosplayers by now, not to insult anyone, but it's a pretty common material in cosplay. I also believe that is a type of styrene, polystyrene, but I'm, I gotta double check. Styrofoam is that we realized it was just a big mess and an issue, and I don't see styrofoam as nearly as much as I did when I was a kid, which is really cool, because I feel like we've replaced stuff with compostable products and whatever. That's pretty nifty. Let's, okay, sorry, let me finish number seven, and then I'll tell you about polyurethane, which I don't think is on this list. But seven is other. So it's just anything that is a mixture of plastics, you know, when you recycle plastics and you see any, um, this is something I learned from my ex-boyfriend who's a engineering major and he knows tons about all of this, which I'm super jealous because it's like, if my math skills were better, I probably would have been a plastics engineering major and then been kick-ass at cosplay. But, um, I can only do basic algebra. Performance anxiety. That's what that is. That's the word for that. Okay, it's anything that is a mixture from already a recycled product. It's also sometimes polyurethane products that are um, anything from, I don't know, anything from bike seats to five gallon plastic water jugs. Well, the thing about number seven is that recyclers won't accept it because they don't know how to sort it as easily and recycling is sort of, you know, someone's got to do it. You know, we do our part by putting it on the street, but then someone picks it up and then takes it to a thing, a series of processes and things, and then there's people involved. So the thing about polyethylene and other plastics is that there's something about the molecular structure is very simplified. It's usually a series of carbon atoms with um, hydrogen attached, and it can be heated and melted and uh, casted that way. It can be Thermoplastics, we all know thermoplastics, so we can bend them into a shape, um, and if we want to reuse them, they can be melted down and reused. Polyurethane, number seven, the reason it's not accepted as a recyclable product is because the, the composition of polyurethane means that it comes in two parts, and polyurethane, if you didn't know, it's um, from anything from the flexible foams that I'm talking about in my tutorials, the ones that I've been using a ton lately because I'm obsessed with them, um, because I have LARPer friends now, and the world of LARPing props is so exciting. Um, but it's also like, if anyone's ever used great stuff, cans of that expanding foam that uh, Kamui Cosplay is very known for, she uh, uses that a lot. And that is polyurethane, and it does not go back to any form other than the one it is when you mix part A and part B, you smash them together, it's, that's permanent. You don't get to reuse that. So keep that in mind that when you're using polystyrene and when you're using polyurethane, those are two of the most environmentally unfriendly crap. Damn it. Um, which really sucks because I know, we all know going to cosplay that there's a lot of waste. And that's what's so great about Warbler is there's no waste. So I don't know what Warbler is. I'm gonna look that up right now. Let's recap. Poly, polyethylene, common plastics. Polypropylene is, um, gosh, you know what? I can't think of a practical application that I use that for right now. Um, Sintra is uh, super popular. That's PVC. Um, and we also use PVC piping all the time. Uh, and then polystyrene, we use that a ton in styrofoam or um, the sheeting. And polyurethane is used a ton in hard, rigid plastics, casting resins, or uh, the expanding foams, either flexible or rigid, which is awesome that you can get flexible or rigid foams just based on the poly, poly whatever aspect of the, you know, molecules. It's science. It's cool. Oh, God. 
just get so excited about science, I have to cool down. Um, thanks for staying with me. I really hope you learned something. I think this is so cool. I'm Since I don't want to make the video any longer, I'm going to maybe add more information in the description. Maybe about like glues that are good to use with those things and how to paint those things and how to seal those things. And uh, you know what? I think polyurethane might be EVA foam too. Maybe I'm wrong. It's just so cool, guys. It is just so... I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> mm. Did I also mention that 